be able to protect yourself using your vehicle and engage somebody should you get to the point that you need to. What we're going under the assumption is you're driving down the street and you get engaged from the front or the side. For some reason you get caught in some weirdo crossfire or something like that. What you want to do is you want to remove yourself from the front of the vehicle because your upper torso is exposed and you could take a round through the windshield. What we're going to be covering are two different things. One, I'm going to evacuate from the front, go into the back seat, open the far rear door. What I'm going to do then is grab the handle, lean down, and I'm just going to press out with one hand and make a simple one-handed shot. Once I do that, I'm going to let go with my top hand, do a simple little roll, go into a standard pistol prone firing position, and we'll engage the target from that point there as well. Here we go. Okay. As you can see, it wasn't that bad. We had a little bit of shaking and wobbling, blew a couple of shots, but overall we were still able to put enough targets on round to stop the immediate threat, and that's what we're trying to do here. One of the things that I really liked, we've been able to use a lot of Crimson Traces products this year, and one of the things I like about it is I can kind of confirm my sight. My hand was shaking a little bit because I was hanging upside down, that put me a little bit better on target. So when I did blow a shot, it had nothing to do with the laser. The laser is going to hit right where I'm pointing it. it. Just had to do with me. Another thing though is with this Atlantic Marksman ammunition that we picked up, we've got less recoil. We're flying faster, and it just seems to be a lot more accurate. We've shot it at 100 yards and not had a problem with it whatsoever. And up here in close, it's just even better. But having that recoil, especially when you're in a compromised position, reduced, really helps out a lot. And then if you can do a little flip or something like that, something like you saw me do, go down into a prone and shoot, that time, that return time to target being diminished to where it's just a little bit less than it was before, that barrel rise isn't as much as it was before, really helps out. You can speed up your target, time on target, your, your rounds on target and everything, and everything just adding up works out a whole lot better. Another thing to know about that ammo is it weighs about 23% less than the average ammo that you're going to carry in the same caliber. So if you do walk around and you carry a couple of mags and you've got a full pistol, at the end of the day, that little bit, it's going to add up. It's going to give you a little bit more energy. It's going to make you feel a whole lot better. So keep in mind, lasers, always a great option. Good optics, good sights on top, always a good option. Better option, get to the range. Train as much as you can. Make sure you can do these shots. They may look really cool, 